The 2020 market crash compared to other bear markets throughout history. This is fun. It's going to be a good video uh, chart we're going to show you from the folks over at engagingdata.com. That's engaging-data.com. Uh, big fan of these guys, the work they're doing. So let's look at this. We got um, uh, the, the commie virus is in black. Black Monday, 1987. October is in purple. The Arab oil embargo, which is 1973 and 74. Chaos is in, I guess, red. Dot-com bus is in blue. A GFC, the global financial crisis, is in orange. And the Great Depression is in green. All right, so you can see here, uh, we're starting at day zero. So let's read what they're saying. Uh, the graph shows uh, at the stock market drops from 2020 and other bear markets normalized so that the peak is at 100% on day zero. This lets you see the severity and duration of different bear markets from the Great Depression that we talked about. All right, so basically this is the highest it was, and then it began the, uh, the descent. Okay, so let's go down here. All right, and that's, can I get day zero? I'm not sure. But anyway, so what's happening is you got 100, and then we fast forward until day, the black is a, right there. It's going to be March 13th, no, March 23rd, right there. In 33 days, the market fell 33.9%, the most in history. The Great Depression, in 33 days, the market fell 15%. That was it. Uh, the dot-com bust in 33 days, it fell uh, 5.7, and then the Arab oil embargo in 33 days, it only fell 3%, basically. So you can see how fast and furious that was. Man, I hope you're able to hang in there. Um, I hope you follow my advice to look out the window when the market's panicked, because watch this. The market came back to right there. Um it's at 100% of peak on, on, on August 20th. So it took, it was at 150 days, uh, less than five months. Less than five months later is back to where it was on March 23rd. That's nuts, man. I hope you didn't jump right here um, or even anywhere near that. I hope you didn't because you just missed the greatest recovery in history. I mean, it's insane. The greatest recovery in history. It's such a short period of time. And again, the market is up again today. I mean, I it just, it's, uh, there we go. The, the, the S&P is up another. I mean, you can argue why. Um, in fact, these guys make an argument about what's going on here. The S&P is up another 30 basis points so far today. It's crazy. Um, so they're saying, uh, there are many reasons why the disconnect is happening, why the stock market is in recovery when everything else is lagging in the economics. Uh, Federal Reserve actions, blah, blah, blah. The heavy weighting of tech and the S&P 500 and the pandemic's boost to many tech companies' businesses, Amazon, Zoom, and Apple. Uh, whatever the reason, the question is whether the market continue at this pace or have a correction is an important one to watch. I, look at that. All right, so that I just hope you didn't get out, man. Uh, if you did, I just, you got to learn your lesson. You got If you're going to be in stocks, you got to be in there. Stocks literally for the long run, you got to be in there. I hope you learned your lesson. Um, but here, let's keep going because I want to show you something. So basically, we got the financial crisis, the dot-com bust. I think a lot of people overlook this. So here's a financial crisis. So you can see February 9th, March 9th of 2009. Does it give us March 9th? Yeah, it gives March 5th. I don't know if it gives us March 9th. It doesn't look like it. March 10th. So they were down, what's that, uh, 50 uh, 46% of peak. So the market was down uh, 46% on March 9th from uh, October 10th, I believe, 2007. So in 18 months' time, you lost basically half your portfolio over that time. I assume this is, well, I don't know, that's, like, actually it fell more than that, the S&P 500. So it actually fell about 54%. So I'm not sure exactly what they're saying for their, uh, it fell a little bit more than that. Oh, I saw 48 right there, March 12th, okay. Either way, you lost about 50, you lost about half your capital. But then it started coming back up. All right, so now you're at 50. So basically, you're at 48% uh, of peak on is March 9th is when you lost about half your capital. So basically, you're at 46% of peak. Now you're at 53%. You can see you're going up 58%. And then you finally broke even here. Uh, right out there, orange. Let's see when it has its breaking even. It doesn't really have its breaking even, a peak. So I'm not sure. Is it back in the, 
I don't think they're reinvesting dividends. I don't know. Anyway, that's a little bit confusing to me. But you basically broke even back in 2012 from a price perspective. All right, but the blue is a big one. The blue is a dot-com bust. And I think a lot of people don't recognize how horrible that was. Every day, you're just waking up, and you're like, man, the market's getting crunched every single day. The market here is down 77% of peak. Uh, here in 2001, it's down 75% of peak. 2000 and two a year goes by a year and a half we're at 60 uh, percent of peak and then all the way until Oct uh, march of 2003 i think a lot of people overlook what happened in march of 2003 right there you go, right there right there right february does it give me march yeah 55 percent of peak is what it was so basically again you lost half your capital but it took you know three years essentially um 2000 2001 and two it was painful dudes painful that was a long time now the great depression was the worst because it took it was so long look at that i mean uh three years later you had 26.6 percent of peak i mean you literally lost almost 80 percent of your portfolio yeah right here you're down to 17 16 16 percent 15 15 15 right there on uh, april 28 1932 you only had 15 cents on the dollar that's nuts man nuts but the problem is here it was deflationary so the cost of goods were going down as well so as easy as to say oh my goodness that was horrible i don't know if that was more horrible than the freaking oil embargo stuff or certainly the dot-com bust because there was still inflation with a significant decline here yeah you got hammered a most people didn't have stocks b is that deflation was happening so anyway pretty interesting chart so uh, i'll share a link with you um uh, i love these kind of things so actually they've got where you can put it on your website uh okay i'm not sure all right python script all right cool anyway good stuff so i hope you find that informative love to hear your comments see you now